This reading is for Leo for the month of April, year 2024. Please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. This is a general reading. Allah, please send Leo 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect. Allah, please send me 200 angels to stand, guard, guide, and protect me as I open this portal. I do not partner you with my divination, but I ask of you to guide me through so that my readings are truthful, accurate, and honest. Show me Leo's current energy, please. First card out is the Two of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be a relationship, a union. Okay. Why is the Two of Cups here? For Leo. This is you. Okay. Why is Leo coming out with the Two of Cups? This could be a union or this could be you giving yourself self-love. Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Good job. Ceremony, graduation. Good job. Good harvest. Okay. Hmm. That's a positive aspect already. Show me the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Higher learning. Organization. Association League, a marriage, you did what you were supposed to do, show me the two of cups, queen of wands, three of cups, and the hierophant, you are going to expand in your life, you got this ace of pentacles here. Show me more with the Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. But see, there's this past energy here. Beware of past people. Beware of selfish, controlling people. Because with the Two of Cups, the Hierophant, the Three of Cups, this is you moving forward. You're going to gain that Ace of Pentacles due to your accomplishments. So pay attention to people that wants to come back because they're after that Ace of Pentacles. God is moving you up in higher ranking in spirit, mind, and body. God is placing you above others because they refuse to do the work within themselves. So anyone from your past or anybody that is stuck in past ways, you're going to have to disregard them to a certain extent or you possibly already have. They're after your ace of pentacles. They're after your expansion. You moving on. You're moving on with the nine of pentacles and the six of pentacles. See, these people that you left behind is in the three of swords energy in their own type of abuse. They can't abuse you anymore. They're the ones that stuck in the past, past way of living, past way of thinking. These people will not change. That's free will to change. They don't want to. They're jealous, full of conflict. Could be a group of people, could be a family, 
or a friend group. They're all under judgment. And they were judging you because of your hopes, your inspirations, your dreams, your status, your star status, the position that God has you in, healing you, blessing you, okay? They could have the same thing, but they refuse to go get it. So beware of these past people that's after your Ace of Pentacles. That's after your Three of Cups, your ceremony, your good job, your harvest. These people are stuck in an illusion. See, you had different resources with this Seven of Cups. It was kind of confusing the direction you were supposed to go through. You know, the path you were supposed to go down, it's kind of confusion. It's, it's, it was confusing, but God is going to pull you out or has pulled you out and is continuously healing you and motivating you. These people can have it too, but they want yours. Mm -hmm. Three of wands. So you had to strategize. You had to make plans. You have to be your own visionary. And when obstacles are occurring, you will vision how to solve them through God. So they're wondering why aren't you stuck in the seven of cups energy? Because the clarity... <laughs> had already happened, the clouded judgment, the, it's, it's like the, the, the clouds, the clouded judgment had cleared. You're no longer in that fog. And this is why you're getting that Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Six of Pentacles. So the people that was trying to keep you stuck, being selfish, being ignorant, being controlling, being just being, you know, not so good. I'm trying not to curse. Those people that are lazy slackers, they expect for you to forgive them and come back and bless them. God said, no, you can't bless them. Well, somebody wounded themselves being a player. They wounded themselves being a player. That's what they wasted their time and energy in their life being a player. They wait. They waited too late to change, if any change. They don't think change is necessary. Somebody wasted half their life being a player within that Ten of Pentacles having different options and different resources that was just terrible. There was only one correct option. It's not your fault they didn't choose it. You chose the high road. You chose the Hierophant. You chose to heal. You chose that higher learning. Some of you are definitely going into like a... Um, an association league, corporation, business. So these people that want your ace of pentacles, they're still, the, they, they didn't make any changes. You got this emperor here, so you could be a boss or you will be a boss. <laughs> Good management. You're good with your children. Your children love you. You got the Ace of Swords here and the Page of Wands. Show me the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands. Congratulations on those that is graduating. Congratulations. That's those moving up in life. You, you refuse to sit still. You're not searching for nobody that cannot do any soul searching within yourself. So now you're not settling for less. 
Mm -mm. That's your choice. You're not settling for less. Anybody that's low vibrational, anybody that does not, and I'm not saying you're being conceited and shallow or anything like that. But what I'm saying is you're not settling for less anymore. If someone refuses to do the soul searching and find the answers within their self or be high, high altitude, um, you know, vi vibrant, okay, <laughs> smart and intelligent. If they do not have any common sense, they are not for you. That's your decision. Show me the high, the hermit in reverse with the sun in reverse. Mm, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is an imposter. They tell white lies. Okay, they're quitters. They talk behind other people's backs. They will be exposed. Do not trust this person. Show me the, okay. Yep, lovers. So somebody, it could be you, it could be someone else. Lovers is Gemini. Someone focuses on the physical beauty. That was a beginning of a romance. It was temptation. It was sexuality. It was lust and it was love. In order for a relationship to work, someone needs to let go of uh, their parents' ways. Represents a period of good time, close friends, and adventure. An important decision must be made. What's this important decision that needs to be made with the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, and Reverse, and Lovers? What's the important decision that needs to be made for Leo regarding the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, and Reverse, and Lovers? Somebody is more focused on the physical side. They're not focused on the soul-searching side. Yep, death, it's over. Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So there's going to be loss of possession, loss of love, loss of a relationship. You had to go through a metamorphosis, a change, even if it's not an air sign. This is what's in the airwaves. You had to do that. There could be a Scorpio that's in the Five of Cups energy, or this just is you going through a rebirth. After the Five of Cups energy, you're going through a rebirth, a change. So you had to cause endings in your life. You had to get rid of certain people. You had to get rid of your own certain way of thinking and doing things. And because you have done that, this is why you're having ceremonies. This is why you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. This is why you have the Hierophant, higher learning, professionalism, because you did the damn work. And when people don't do the work, they cannot sit at your table, regardless of who they are. You are no longer going to settle for less. Because settling less is like settling for shit on a stick. Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you put in that work. You went through the ups and downs. You put in that work. And they left you out in the cold with that three of pentacles and the two of pentacles. You going through the ups and downs. That's what made, that's what motivated you to put in that work. Cause nobody was helping you, but God. This is why you're not settling for less. So anybody that comes back from your past with their hand out asking for help, no help yourself. You had to put in that work. Lazy people are getting cut out after Ramadan, okay? After Ramadan and Easter and this eclipse, all the lazy people are going to suffer. You understand? They can't sit back and keep collecting for free thinking that that's a blessing. You're, they're not working for it. So whoever is coming back trying to look for a handout from you after you done did all this work, that's a negative. Look, here's the offer. 
Here's the offer from a king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Here's the offer. But this person was too busy being a player, whether that's the king of swords or the king of pentacles. Somebody was too busy out there playing around. They, they, they didn't prepare for the harvest. Mm. We have the ace of wands. So this king of pentacles got, a, got an idea. Didn't I tell you it's like shit on a stick? There's the stick. There's the stick. You have entrepreneurism, okay? You, you're that, op, that entrepreneur. You are passionate about your ideas. You love your children if you have any. You love yourself. You have self-love. So this person, these people that didn't work on themselves or either work with you, they wanted to keep giving you problems. Now they want to come back around. Why is this King of Pentacles here with this Knight of Cups and this Ace of Wands? What I tell you, these people or persons did not invest in you. When you needed them, they were not there. They walked away. They went and found their happiness elsewhere. They relocated. <laughs> now they're wondering about you. Now they're questioning what you're doing, who you're doing it with, what are you doing? See, they tested you. They tested you through your life, whoever this is for, they tested you. They wanna come back. So they refused to even help you invest you invest in you. They walked away towards their own happiness. Now they're wondering about the Empress. You're protected. There was a cycle period where you were straight protected through this, through the hard times, the two of pentacles of ups and downs. Now you're going to go through a cycle period of the six of wands. Okay. Victoriously. And this burdens, this 10 of wands that they were trying to send you Okay, the devil, I'm going to tell you, the devil doesn't only represent materialistic or being greedy or selfish. It represents you being the goat, you being focused. And some of you were so damn focused, you made sure to reach the end with this cycle period successfully, victoriously. And yeah, it's so sad because they were definitely trying to send this type of energy, the moon and the devil. That's the negative side of the devil. Now they were trying to send that energy to you for distraction. Okay. And you have the 10 of wands here. So when I see that two of cups, I'm not going to say, oh, it's a beautiful union all the time. That could be you having self-love for you, self-value. And this is what I'm here to tell people. Focus on your self-value, your self-worth, and that will help pull you through. Anybody that is argumentative over that in this devil energy, they're going to be questioned. You cannot go back to the person that put in all the work when they didn't do a damn thing and ask for a handout. You ain't talk to this person. There's a big piece of information here that's missing. What's the information that's missing? For Leo. Well, oh well. It sucks, right? They're in their own misery for causing you and other people great pain. The past is catching up with a lot of people during this retrograde. And you know what? If they don't wake up, if they refuse to wake up and grow during this retrograde, it is not your problem. They have to sit and suffer in the Nine of Swords. Move forward with the chariot because success is yours. The card of success, confidence and determination, victory over illness, enemies, and financial problems. <laughs> That's beautiful. Goals are achieved through self-control, willpower, okay? You focused on the battle at hand. Take satisfaction. 
to your accomplishments. So be satisfied with your accomplishments and guard against arrogance. Your reputation will be established and respect is earning. So they tried to ruin you, ruin your reputation, and it keeps coming out for some Leos. They can't. They cannot ruin your reputation no matter how many lies they tell, no matter how many times they try to hold you back with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It doesn't matter. You push through. So this Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, be weary, be weary of this, this, this person. When I mean be aware, be weary because this person keeps trying to throw some, some, some toxic energy your way. Come rushing in with an attitude or a problem or always got something to say. Well, whoever sleeps with that Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, they're in the tower. This person wants to come rushing in, making a truce with you, but don't fall for it. It's only because they're in a tower. Or any energy that they were sitting that was harsh, it put them in a tower. Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Ten of Cups is in reverse. Six of Cups is in reverse. Ten, the Temperance Angel is in reverse. The a Queen of Swords is in reverse. And that's karma. Okay? So the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, all that vicious talk, all that wickedness, okay? The lies, the deception, talking behind people back and smiling on up in the face. People are now judging these individuals that they're not happy. Like, dude, you're not happy. You don't have no balance in your life, but you want to keep talking about Leo? You want to keep stalking Leo? You want to keep running their mouth? Especially if Leo is nowhere around, people are now judging them. There's no reconciliation here. There's no compromise and there's no changes. They don't even have heavenly dividance to, to guide them. There's no relationship. Somebody was just in it. They're just in a relentless pursuit of money. And someone lost a lot. They lost their job. They could be losing their home. Large lump sum of money affects someone's mood here. Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. A, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Someone makes trouble all the damn time. They're unforgiving. They have an unforgiving attitude and they look down towards others. It's only because they don't like themselves. They only come to you to have something gained. Be suspicious of this queen of pentacles in reverse. Be suspicious of a queen of cups in reverse. These people are filled with karma. Just be suspicious of the people that's trying to come back from your past. So if you hear anything from a past person, just be like, mm, no, I don't think so. Yep, because it stopped. God is sitting them down. You have been released. You're not in any intellectual runt. You got the, the eight of swords in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. So there's nothing holding you back anymore. And you know that you have this new beginning here. So these people can't go with you, but I'm telling you, be careful of past people and be careful of people who haven't changed their way of thinking. Those are the people that set back, set back in life. No work, no school, no education, no nothing. Just looking for freebies along the land. Show me more love for Leo. Yep, you're working on changing working on a new beginning, working on getting a new home. You got toes in labor and change. You could be moving into a higher position at work. You could be changing jobs or you're just working on changing in general. And these are positive changes. Show me toes in labor and change. Great fortune. See, your great fortune is always going to be a message of concern. They expect it for you to be in bad health, but you are not. Okay? But I'm told to put this back in. Put it back in. Your message of your the message of concern is about your fortune. Beggars. Main female in reverse. That could be a, 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 a friend or whoever you was dealing with. They're in reverse. Your fortune brings concern, toads and labor and change. So by you putting in all that hard work for some Leos, this message is not for the, 
the 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 sour Leos who can't let go. Okay, who's still holding on? That message is not for y'all. This is not for y'all. Go to a different reader. If you didn't make any damn changes in your life. But for the ones that did make positive changes in their life and knew not to stand still. Your fortune brings great concern. You working on a better living condition, a new home, education, whatever it is you put into work. This main female is in reverse. Main man upright. Main female in reverse. I guarantee you, those are the false people that's in your life. They're not, they don't want to be part of the community anymore. Because they're, this is why I was told, put it back in. You're not in any bad health. They are. And this main man left the person that they were cheating on you with. That person is in reverse because they got them sick. That main man does not want to be part of that community anymore. Yeah, the marriage is in reverse. Now this person is that still stuck on that karmic loop, think that they can still creep back in. Whoever that they were courting, whoever that they had a courtship with, that main female in reverse got them sick. And now this main man does not want to be part of the community. Yep, because they're in reversal of fortune. They lost income. So if they took from you, if they took from you, it has been taken from them. They're not receiving. Wealthy man is in reverse. So they see that you put in all that work. With just the help of God in the healing of Jesus. And no, I'm not partnering Jesus with God. But Jesus still has a job to do in spirit. You, you excelled. Courthouse. Judgment. So after this divorce, after this divorce, you're going on a journey. And it brings some concern. Now that main man that's in reverse with wealthy man in reverse possibly has court dates and the journey that they're going on is imprisonment. The journey that they could have left you for and went towards got them imprisonment. They're in despair. They chose, <laughs> they chose a mature woman in reverse And poverty. But see, they also they also try to leave you in poverty too. This is why I see you didn't get any help from anyone but God. But they chose a mature woman in reverse that led them to poverty and despair. So they were stolen from. They were robbed. That's why they don't want to be a part of that community anymore. This is why they're going to come to you. Now they're thinking about you. Now they're thinking about messaging you. So be careful. I mean, it's your life. You can make any choice you want to. You could even get a message from the courts or you can get a message from an official person. Official person was somebody that you was married to or in a common law, a long-term relationship with. This person is thinking about you and wants to message you, but they don't know what to say. Hmm, child ain't theirs. That's for sure. There's a child that is not theirs. And also they don't have any new beginnings, no changes. So the outcome for you, Leo, what's the outcome for Leo? I'm going to pick this back up, put it back in, put all the cards back in and ask for the outcome. Allah, what's the outcome for Leo? Hmm. You're not thinking about them. Thoughts fell out in reverse. It flew out in reverse. No judgment. You're not even judging them. You don't want you don't want to get back with them. You're not going to court them. Judgment in reverse. 
okay? You're not placing any judgment. You just know things were done out of anger and revenge. You're not trying to take revenge. You just want to move on with your life. So this person that she was married to or either in a relationship with, they did all that out of anger, jealousy, and revenge. You would never go back to them. They try to teach you a lesson, but they got taught a lesson. So the outcome is you're going to receive a message if they got your number. If they got your phone number, you're going to receive a message or they have received a message that you moved on. Look at this. Pathway. What I tell you about the false person that's not working, doesn't have a family room. <laughs> isn't that isn't that the the ultimate backfire is when someone trying to ha ha I'm going to teach Leo a lesson I'm going to leave Leo high and dry and I'm going to talk bad about Leo and judgment sneaks up and slaps them in the face this person hasn't worked Okay, they're, they're still a false person. They still give false hope, like trying to paint themselves as a bigger, better person. But the community is seeing that they're false. Okay, that if somebody gave your, your ex a message that you're doing good and you moved on. You're moved on to a better path. You're privileged, okay? And you, high honor. Yep. So the outcome, privileged and high honor. Courthouse, you're gonna win a settlement also in a courthouse, sudden wealth in courthouse, or this is ruled and ordered by God for you to receive this sudden wealth, but this could be a, a, a court case. Community came out in reverse again with this main man. This man wants to come home. They don't want to be a part of that community. They have no money. Again, <laughs> unexpected income is in reverse. Bad health. Okay, and mature woman. Mature woman or mature man, I should say. It's over. The official person in reverse now and coffin. It's over. That person or people is in reverse in your life. And you don't care. Message of concern is in reverse. You don't you don't care. Okay? That someone could be going to jail. That's when that individual is looking at you like you changed. You don't care. Why should you? And I'm not being mean or cruel. I'm just I'm showing what showing you what came out. It's not meant for you to care. It's not a message of concern, whatever this person is going through. Because remember, they didn't give a damn about you when you was going through your complications in life. God rose you from the bottom. And now you are reaching the middle. You're reaching the middle of your goals. And whatever career path you took, Whatever decision you made that was through God, that was positive, you will reach the top. 